Hello again, in this video we will load a CSV file into a data frame like this one, okay? It has a date 1, date 2, number and fatalities. Date 1 and date 2 are the same dates, okay? But in different formats. The first one starts with the month and then we have the day and the second one starts with the day and then we have the month, okay? Also, after loading from a CSV file, these dates will be strings objects. So the first thing that we will do is convert strings into pandas date time, okay? These strings into pandas date time. After this, we will explore some properties about date time object and do some operations. And finally, we will do a plot of this data frame using one of these columns, okay? As always, we start by importing pandas and reading the CSV file into a data frame object. In this case, the CSV file is car accidents. This file, okay, it has five records and it has a date one, date two, that is the same date as date one, but in another format, the number of accidents and the number of fatalities. These values don't have any meaning, I just made up, okay? If I go here, again, if we go a little down, we find here I am printing the original data frame. The first thing that I want to do here is print data frame dot d types and let's run these and see what this does as we can see here in the date one we have a object and date two we have another object they are not date time objects okay so the first thing that we need to do is translate these into date time objects so let's go down here where we have convert to daytime object data frame we choose the date one column and we say it is equals to pd dot two underscore daytime we provide the column that we want to convert into a daytime object so in this case is data frame date one for the date two is the same thing we just need to copy and paste and change the values and we now can print the data types let's run and we have the date one and date two as date time it's everything okay at least we think so if we print the data frame again and run we see here that in the original data frame we have the same date with different formats okay and here they should be in the result they should be in the same format but pandas couldn't find out that these are different formats for the same date and it's translated into a different date here we have month seven month one day one day seven okay the values are switched to solve this problem we need to go here and provide a second argument that is called format and we say that the format of the date is percentage day dash percentage month dash percentage year in uppercase because is four numbers okay now we can run this again and now the dates are equals okay this date time have some properties that are very useful for example we can access just and only just the month like this data frame dot date one dot dt dot month okay also we can access the day of the year and also we can access the weekday okay like this if we print these we get these values here is the month of each date here is the day of the year of each date and here is the weekday of every date i just showed here three properties of date time but there are a lot more if you google for pandas api reference you can go here to series and search for date time properties and here you have a list of all the properties of date time object
Now let's see how to use some daytime operations. Let's imagine that we want to filter rows for a certain point in time. To do that, we define a timestamp is equals to pd.2 datetime. We are creating a new date from a string. The month is the 5, the day can be 23, and the year 2002. Okay, after this, we can print dataframe.lock and which rows we want. We want the rows that are data frame dot date one higher or equals to timestamp. Okay, and the columns, we want all the columns. Okay, we run these and we got this result. Okay, we just have here the dates higher or equals than the date that we defined. Also, we can get the maximum date to do that. Print dataframe.date1.max. With this, we get the maximum date of the column date1. Also, if we have a max, we have a min. So, we can get the minimum date. Let's run this. And we have here the maximum date and the minimum date. Now let's say that we want to know how many days are between the maximum date and the minimum date. To do that, we declare here a variable days is equals to, and we say dataframe.date1.max minus dataframe.date1.min. And after this, we ask for the days. Let's print and run, and we get here the value of how many days are between the minimum date and the maximum date. Let's do the final exercise, plot the data. And let's first create a new column. The column will be data frame year. And let's access the data frame dot date one dot dt dot year. Okay, we are accessing the property year of each date. Then we need to import matplotlibpyplot as p for plotting the data. And we need to plot data frame dot plot which column will be in the X? It will be the column here. Which column will be in Y? It will be the number of accidents. Let's p.show to show the plot and run this. And we got this strange plot. Why? Because the year is not sorted. If we print the data frame, we can see here that the column year is not sorted by year. Okay, so let's sort these. Let's say data frame dot sort values of column year. And also we want it to be in place equals true. So it will change the data frame. Let's run this again. And now we get this plot. So we have this data and we want to convert these strings into pandas date time. For the first date, we just need to call the function pd.2 underscore date time and then provide the date one, the column that we want to convert into date time. Okay. For the second scenario, the date two is a little different because this one doesn't follow the standard. Okay. So we needed to add another parameter, the format parameter to inform pandas that the format of this date is day dash month dash year. Okay. We saw that we can access some date time properties like dt.month, dt.day of year, dt.weekday, and there is a lot of other properties and we can check them out in this link, okay? So we follow this link and we can find a lot of properties, okay? Also, we can do operations like this one. We can filter rows by a specific date and we can do some math operations to know how many days are between the minimum date and the maximum date, okay? For the final exercise, it was very simple too. We just needed to access the property year of the column date one to create a new column, the year column. Then we imported pyplot from matplotlib, sorted the values from the column year and plot the year and the number of accidents. And at the end, showing the plot. And this is the end. Don't forget to give a like to this video and subscribe and as always, Many, many thanks for watching.